Welcome to the video abstract of the paper Configurational Isomerism in Bimetallic Decametallates, authored by Dr. Alexander Kondinsky. The decametallate archetype is a key structure in polyoxymetallator chemistry. It features 10 metal centers linked by 28 oxygen atoms. This structure is typically associated with highly oxidized vanadium, niobium, and tantalum. In the decametallator structure, the primary metal centers can be substituted with other D-block or P-block elements. When these substitutions involve different metals, the resulting structures are known as bimetallic decametallates. When analyzing the decametallate structure, we identify three positionally inequivalent metal positions. There are four axial sites, referred to as position A, four equatorial peripheral sites, known as position B, and two central metal sites, termed position C. In this study, our initial goal is to identify how many positional isomers arise from substituting primary metals with heterometals and to assess how these substitutions impact the relative stability within different isomer sets. To achieve this, we developed an algorithm to explore the chemical space of bimetallic decametallates and applied density functional theory, DFT, calculations on mixed vanadium molybdenum sets, which are relevant for experimental investigations. Our algorithm identifies 318 configurations by substituting primary metals with heterometals. The maximum of 66 configuration isomers occurs at five substitutions, accompanied by a peak of 21 enantiomeric pairs. Substituting a single vanadium 5 plus center with molybdenum 6 plus is most favorable at the axial sites, position A, followed by the equatorial peripheral sites, position B, and lastly, the central position, site C. This trend is driven by the number of coordination and charge distribution effects. In desubstituted molybdenum vanadium systems, substitutions at positions 1, 4 and 1, 2, which are both A-type positions, result in the lowest energy configurations. Conversely, substitutions at positions 7 and 8, which are both C-type sites, lead to the highest energy destabilization. In tri-substituted systems, we observe similar trends. Occupying three A sites, that is configuration 1, 2, 3, is the most stable. Occupying both C positions along with the B site results in the least stable configuration. In a 2021 article, Dr. Kondinsky initiated the discussion on the importance of metal-metal bonding in POM chemistry, emphasizing its key role in developing functional catalysts and POMtronics. Considering this article, one may raise the question of whether any configurations in reduced and substituted molybdenum vanadium deca metallates could potentially facilitate such bonding. Two electron reduction of the di substituted systems where molybdenum occupies the A sites, specifically in configurations 1, 4 and 1, 2, does not initially lead to a significant difference in energy. However, in configuration 1, 2, we observe a confirmation where the two molybdenum centers come closer together, initiating charge localization followed by additional stabilization energy due to metal metal bonding. Frontier orbital analysis suggests the possibility of charge transfer from these sections to the rest of the cluster. We kindly invite you to read our recently published article in Materials MDPI. Thank you for watching this video abstract.